Sure. More work adventure. Yeah. Woo. So I go down, I time it when the wave is out, I go down and come over this way. Is this some like American Ninja Warrior? <laughs> <laughs> Right here. Yeah. Or like that. Like, like that. Alright, cool. Yeah, I got my belay card. I knew it would come in handy someday. You gotta straddle that rock, yeah. Yep. Come over the top. Alright. Hell yeah, Welcome. dude! <laughs> Welcome, bro. Alright. Alright, I'm out here today with Johnny KMA and uh, he mentioned the Found a pretty cool spot to put us on some uh, perch and some rockfish. Extreme perch <laughs> fishing. It's not for the uh, weary. It's definitely for the uh, guys that are willing to get up early, risk life and limb for some awesome fishing. Oh yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> so what uh, what kind of gear we got today, Johnny? Um, I've got kind of a light tackle. Um, this is just a really cheapy $30 mega cast seven foot rod from Bass Pro. Um, and I'm using a 3000 series pen battle too. Kind of my go-to anywhere I go, especially if you're gonna hike, this thing I can put it in my backpack um, and carry it on my back, so. Right on, what kind yep. of fish can we expect to catch? Uh, you're gonna be expecting to catch some striped sea perch, which are beautiful, they got the blue lines, and kelp greenlings. And awesome. of course, your regular barge surf perch and, and other types of perch. Is there any chance we could catch a lingcod? There is definitely a chance to catch lingcod because of all the rock formations here. Um, you see a little cove over on that side. And so there's a lot of bait fish around for, for the lingcod, the cabazon, they're also out here. Awesome. All right, dude. Hope we hook up. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I got my seven foot ugly stick catfish rod today with the 5,000 pen fierce. Working a high-low rig with, I think, a 3 aught bait holder hook and shrimp. I'm putting the sand uh, sandworms on the bench. We're gonna see if uh, some natural bait work. We're targeting perch and a bunch of rockfish and other stuff I can't pronounce. Hell yeah! Wow! Is there a size limit on those things? Uh, no size limit, but that is a striped sea perch. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, they are beautiful. They got the blue line. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that's pretty. That's what we're uh, going for here. They're just right there on the rock. So. Oh, I thought I had a bite. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Sweet. Was that on shrimp also? Yeah, shrimp. Awesome. All right, dude, on the board. Yep, you got one. Yeah, so I was gonna ride it on rock for it, dude. Okay. Oh, you are retrieving it. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Should I keep my drag tight in case it's something heavy and just gank them? Uh, uh, Snag so fast! Sean! <laughs> Sean, baby! Dude, I am getting schooled! Oh, sh another one! Another one! Beautiful! Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude, they're just right there, right in front of us. Uh, all right, mind if I put my hook yeah, there? go ahead, dude, go over there. All right, Johnny's nice enough to share a spot with me. I'm gonna put my shrimpy dimps, same spot. 
That's a little more to the right. Okay. Are you retrieving it or are you just letting it sit? Yeah, okay. So Johnny was telling me that the other day he was out here trying to use what, swim baits? And he was just having no luck and he was in between two OG Asian dudes using high-low rigs with shrimp and they were pulling fish in while he was shaking his head. He went OG Asian style and was already pulled in two perch. Oh, All right, my bait's already gone. My bait's kind of old. It's been frozen and been sitting in my fridge for, I don't know, four or five months. So Johnny's nice enough to lend me some of his shrimp. Which are also about four to five months, <laughs> maybe even longer. Yeah, but your shrimp actually look like shrimp. Yeah. Mine look like garbage. So do you leave the shell on? Yeah. You leave the shell on? Okay. Oh, uh, we just uh, almost got freaking cleaned off this rock here. <laughs> he lost a fish, we lost some bait, my backpack soaked. Might be time to call it, huh? Might be. Uh-oh. Drowned all the moths. All right, one more cast. The one more. All right, that might be a sign it's time to go. I've had a bunch of nibbles. No fish on my line. We lost the fish with that big wave. We lost bait. Full of June on your last cast. Last cast, right here. Gotta get going to work. So I knew this was gonna be a short session, but it was awesome to see Johnny KMA pull up a, what kind of perch was that? Striped sea perch. Striped sea perch, two of them. But that wave took out one of them, our bait. I think it soaked whatever camera gear I might have in there, in my backpack, in my wallet for sure. But uh, we're gonna do a June and hopefully catch something crazy on my last cast. I only got one. I only had a one ounce disc weight left. I don't know if it's enough. We'll see. I knew I should have brought extra socks. I'm gonna be going to work with wet socks. Yeah. Well, I gotta change it. I gotta change the clothes, but but I don't have extra socks. I should have should have done that. Yeah. Do you mind? Okay. Cool. All right, I'm snagged. I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, and uh, that's the way the morning's gone. Broke off. That's the way the morning's gone. But you know what, Johnny? It's been real. Thanks for showing me the spot. I'm glad you caught some fish. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah it's uh, pretty rough out here today. Yeah. But uh, nice little morning adventure before work, right? <laughs> All right, dude. Next time. Beat up. Yeah. 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 Good thing I was at my backpack tying my, or uh, yeah, putting a new hook on, and I grabbed it at the last second. So pre-work adventure. I think I'm gonna name the video that. <laughs>